Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I am gonna do a refresh on my Shop My Stash products. So it's a series that I started at the beginning of the year. I will link that playlist in case you wanna watch other months that I've done. But essentially what I'm doing is once a month, I am pulling out a full face of products and they sit out here on my desktop and I try to be really mindful to use them as much as possible. And that's really been working for me and I'm cycling through my collection in a way that I have failed to do in the past because I do have quite a bit of makeup and sometimes things just get forgotten or you know they're in a bottom of the drawer and I don't think to reach for them or I only grab the stuff that's on my desktop because it's easy and I'm kind of lazy so for all those reasons these things are this this whole thing is really working for me and I am cycling through my makeup and I'm enjoying what's in my collection and I am also trying to purchase less makeup than I have previously and this just keeps me excited about products that I already have that maybe I haven't used in six or eight months or who knows how long, right? So yeah, it's really been working. I'm really enjoying the process. So today I'm gonna to show you what is currently sitting on my desktop and then I'm gonna go through my organization unit here and we will pick out another full face of makeup and I'll show you how I kind of organize that. So just as a side note though, some of my makeup is boxed away. So all of my face palettes and eyeshadow palettes I have boxed away because again, I've mentioned before, we are showing our house right now. We listed it and are trying to sell it. And so I used to have quite a bit of stuff on those shelves that I've removed, as well as all my face palettes. I probably had 25, 30 face palettes, I would guess. And I've removed all of those as well. I'm just trying to make the house look less cluttery. The goal is to, when we do showings, for people not to know anyone lives here. <laughs> so it's a lot of work. And so I've really taken a lot of stuff, a lot of makeup already out of this room. And then when we do showings, I, I even put other stuff away. So anyways, I don't have face palettes to go through and I don't have eyeshadow palettes to go through. This show, we're, we're listing for three months, so that'll kind of be three months where I don't have access to that stuff. I could go grab the box, I could dig through it, but to be honest, I have enough other makeup, it's fine. It's fine not to have those products for a few months. I am really missing the Sephora Single Shadows though. I'm, I regret that I boxed those away because I would like to use those. They were pretty new to me. Anyways, okay, so let's get into it. I'm gonna flip you around, I'm gonna show you what I currently have, and then we'll pick the stuff and we will reorganize. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so here's the products that I currently have in my little organizer. Things that I don't pull out that always sit out here are the majority of my brow products, my lip pencils are all in there, and then lipsticks I keep out on the desktop pretty much all the time. Some of this stuff I know I'm just gonna keep out because I know I'm gonna reach for it all the time. So I think I actually will put the Tarte primer back for now and pull out something else. I've got just a ton of primers. I love this. This is just a mini of the Timeless Smoothing Primer and I absolutely love it, but again, I just have so many primers. So I'm gonna put that primer back. I'm gonna put back this Givenchy Prism Libre Highlighter. I love this, it's gorgeous. But again, I wanna pull something else out. I did get a ton of use out of it in the month. It's one of my all-time favorite highlighters. It's so gorgeous on the skin. So I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna keep out this Hourglass Single Shadow. It's one of their Scattered Lights in Ray. I love it, it's what I have on today. and. Just one of my favorite new products and I know if I put it away I'm just gonna pull it out every day so I will keep that out. This Charlotte Tilbury cream shadow, what does she call these? Eyes to mesmerize. This oyster pearl shade, oh my goodness you guys, I these are my two favorite products right now and I just reach for them all the time. I, I'm probably gonna keep it out to be honest because if I don't wear this then I wear that and really there's nothing else in my collection I want to reach for and then I'm gonna keep this Natasha Denona glam face palette out because like I said earlier all of my face palettes are put away and I use both the blush and highlight look at this highlight I mean first of all look at this palette it looks like it's been through a war <laughs> but I've hit pan 
I've hit pan on that. I love that highlighter and the blush not as much clearly, but I, you know, I used it today and it's fine. And then these shadows I do reach for every once in a while. So honestly, mostly those two products there, but occasionally I do reach for that. And again, it's the only one I have out, so I will keep that out. I'm gonna put away this Tower 28 blush. This is in the shade Magic Hour. I love this, you know, one of my favorite all-time blushes, if not my favorite. It's a cream blush, I use it almost daily and I love it. However, I do have a new cream blush from Morphe and it's brand new to me. So I'm gonna put this back and pull that one out. I am gonna keep out this Makeup by Mario. This is the Master Crystal Reflector and it's in the shade Quartz because anytime I want some sort of a glitter topper on my shadows, I reach for this. It's I have just colored it a little bit. I have to try to scrape that off. It doesn't have that that bit of brown that you can see there. That's just because my fingers sometimes have residual makeup on them when I reach in. But it's the most beautiful glitter. I just love it. So I'm gonna keep that out because I do reach for it all the time. And then from Jouer, I have this Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. And you know, it's funny, I use this actually more as a really soft, subtle highlighter then I, I don't think I used it even once as a all over finishing powder. But on my very fair skin, some days that's enough highlighter for me. Like it's just such a pretty soft powder and it just gives that little bit of highlightiness to the you know high points of my face. So I did use it quite often, but honestly just as a highlighter. So I'm gonna put it back, pull something else out. I'm gonna put back this Glowish blush. This is in the shade Caring Coral. I love this. This is a beautiful blush, but I do have a new one that I wanna pull out, um, a new bronzer shade. I wanna pull it out. I might actually pull both those bronzers out to use them, but yeah, I loved this. I used it an absolute ton in the last month, although <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't even look like I used it once. It doesn't even look like I touched it, but I did. I used it all the time. So put that one back. I'm going to put back this quad from e.l.f. It's the, I don't know what they call these. It's their eyebrow quads. You get two waxes. I think they're waxes. That's what they kind of feel like. And then two powders. And you can see, like, I've used it quite a bit. It's a great product. I used it today. I quite enjoy it. But just going to put it back to get some use out of something else. And then I have from ColourPop, this is one of the Super Cheek, Super Shock Cheeks in Lunch Money. I really love this, but I have had it a couple of years and I do feel like it's getting pretty crumbly and old. I mean, it feels not bad, but when I try to use it, yeah, it gets, it definitely is kind of crumbly. I can still make it work, but I do feel like it's probably on its last last legs here. Yeah, just, just getting dried out, I think. It looks nice in the pan, and when I touch it, it still feels like it's got a bit of you know, moisture left in it. It's not completely dried out, but it definitely is getting pretty crumbly when I use it. So I'll keep it for now, but honestly, it's it was tricky to use, so I didn't use it that often. Okay, and then I do always keep out this product from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Pressed Powder, and I love it. I do have quite a, I've got quite a good pan going in it. I, you know, I do go through these kind of quick, to be honest, but it is a beautiful finishing powder. And I did reach for it more this month than I had previously. So anyways, I'm gonna keep that out, but I was reaching for it more because in my Shop My Stash, I pulled out this powder from e.l.f., just called the Finishing Powder, and I just didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. I had to kind of force myself to use it. It just doesn't sit as pretty on the face as some of my other finishing powders. So, yeah, I'm gonna put it back, and I it was just okay. Like, I think it's fine. It's just not like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not as good as the Charlotte Tilbury one, and it's certainly not as good as the Kosas cloud set. So I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put this back. I did use it once. <laughs> this is from Laura Mercier. It's one of the caviar eye sticks in the shade Sienna. It's just too much of a shade for me. Do you know what I mean? Like it is a beautiful coppery color, but on my very fair skin, it's quite bold. 
So yeah, I picked it up in a BoxyCharm sale. I really wanted to try one of these caviar eye sticks, but this shade is just not a good fit for me. So unfortunately, I only used it once and I didn't love it, so I'm gonna put it back. I'm also gonna put back this from Too Faced. It's the Hot Cocoa Bronzer, limited edition. Not that I would recommend you pick it up anyway, because even if I only swirl my brush down in this darker shade down here, it still hardly even shows up on my super fair skin. So it just, it doesn't have any sort of punch to it. It smells delicious and it's super cute, which is why I had asked for it. But yeah, it's kind of a dud. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna put back this foundation from The Ordinary, just one of my all-time favorites. I actually thought I was pretty close to using it up, but I think it's probably sitting about there, so I still have quite a bit in here. So anyways, I love this foundation. It's, you know, in my top three in my collection for sure. I used to say it was my favorite foundation, but I, I'm really enjoying that Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, and I recently got the new Urban Decay, and I've used it a couple of times, and boy, does it seem nice too, so. But I love this foundation, absolutely love it, and I wanna say it's less than $10. It sits so beautifully on my skin. I did use it for the month and yeah, I loved it. But I'm gonna put it back just to cycle through something else. I'm reluctantly gonna put oh, put back this little Rare Beauty liquid, liquid blush. This is in the shade Hope and I loved this. I absolutely loved it. I forgot how much I loved these Rare Beauty liquid blushes. So I have, I think, three of these minis. I'm gonna pull out another shade to get some use out of it. So I'll, I'll put this one back, but yeah, I'm sad to put it back. I've loved using it. I am gonna keep out this concealer from The Ordinary because I keep saying I feel like I only have a couple of uses left, but it's the product that just keeps going. One of my favorite all-time concealers. So I'm gonna keep it out just to use it up. I'm, I, I would guess there's less than five uses in there. However, it just keeps going. So we'll keep that out. And same with this Tent A Doll from Lancome, the Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I use this as a foundation. It's the product that just keeps giving. So I keep using it as a foundation. I took the stopper out. Ah, there's still there's still tons of product in there, you guys. Like, it was expensive, so I wanna use it up. Um, so I'm gonna keep it out, get some more use out of it. I'm gonna put back this product from KVD. What are these called? Oh, Dazzle Sticks. Oh, could it be bigger? <laughs> like, how did I miss that? <laughs> These are the Dazzles. This is a Dazzle stick from KVD Beauty. It's really pretty. Um, it's, it's a little more chunky than I've been enjoying this last couple weeks, actually. So uh, when I first put it in here, I reached for it a couple of times. But then as I have had that new hourglass scattered lights come into my life, I have really just not wanted to reach for this. But it's nice. It is just a little bit of a chunky cream eyeshadow. So I'm gonna put it back for now. I'm also gonna put back from Ace Beauté this eyeshadow primer because I just haven't been using it. When I first got it, I did use it quite a bit, but honestly, those shadow products there, the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize and the Hourglass Scattered Lights, they just don't need this. They just don't need it, so I don't do the extra steps. I'm gonna put that back. I am gonna put back this concealer from NYX. It's really nice, I really like it. However, I have other concealers that I need to cycle through, so I'm gonna put that one back for now. And that one's pretty new to me, so it can sit in the drawer for a little bit. And I am very reluctantly gonna put back from Rare Beauty this cream bronzer. I absolutely love this. One of my favorites, for sure. So I'm gonna put that back just to cycle through. This actually isn't what's in this. I used up this rose water from Maven Beauty. Um, it was fine, nothing remarkable. Oh, what did I put in here? I had another facial mist that the sprayer had gone on it and it didn't work. So I put it in here and you can see I've got kind of maybe a third of it to use. It's also not a setting spray I love, but I am gonna keep it in here just to force myself to use it up. And then <laughs> this product from Becca. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm trying to use this up and I do use it every month and it just keeps going. It's a really nice primer, but you can't get it anymore. I don't know. I kind of just feel over it, to be honest. I'm gonna pull it out. I thought I really could get rid of it, you know, use it up over this last month, but I didn't. I'm gonna keep out the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood, Hollywood Flawless Filter because I use this every single day. I either use it as a primer, I mix it in with foundation, or I use it as a highlighter. 
If you haven't tried this, buy the mini. I think the mini is $20. I, you know, I feel like everyone would fall in love with this product. So yeah, I'm keeping that out because if I put it away, I'll just reach in the drawer for it every day. And then I have this primer from The Ordinary that I love. It's like a lotion primer. Yeah, I love it. I used it a ton, uh, but I'm gonna put it back, pull something else out. Okay, so here is where I keep all of my stuff. So let's pull out what we're gonna use for primers and then I'll put what I've pulled out here away. So I wanna pull out this one from e.l.f. It's new to me and I'm loving it. So let's pull that one out for sure. And then I'm gonna pull out this one cause it's also new to me and it's from Dominique Cosmetics. I did use it once or twice and it seemed really, really nice. So I'm excited to get some use out of it. So pull that one out as well. And then I think that's probably good. So let's put back those products there. And then for setting spray, I only have those three. This is where I'm keeping all my sponges right now. So I'm just gonna leave it. I do reach in and grab this one out every once in a while to use, like you can see how much of that I've used, but I'm gonna keep it in here for now. And I did just grab the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, but I really only need one mist out on my desktop. So I'm gonna leave that. For foundation, I wanna grab out this one from Urban Decay. I have used it a couple of times. I do wanna do some sort of review on my channel, but I'm gonna pull it out because I know I wanna use it. And then for concealer, I wanna pull out this one from LYS. Again, pretty new to me and I've hardly used it. So let's pull that one out. And then I should pull out one more foundation maybe. Ooh, I should try to get some use out of that, actually. That's starting to get pretty old. Is that my oldest one in here? I think probably. Okay, let's pull out that one from It Cosmetics. I, you know, I, for a long time, the CC, the, the original, Your Skin But Better was my favorite foundation and I wore it like every day for years. But this one with the illumination, I don't quite like as much, but it is getting kind of old. So we'll pull that one out as well. Put those two products back. Okay, again, for blush, I know I want to pull out this cream one from Morphe. It's new to me. I think I want to pull out both the bronzers. Again, this new shade in Kiss of Copper is new to me. And the Kiss of Pink, I've had a long time, but I do, I want to pull out both of those. And then, here's my other mini. I think for these, hmm, that one seems a little bit too peachy maybe for me. Let's pull out that shade and that's probably good for blush. I'll put those ones back. Okay, for highlighter and bronzer. Oh, this is new to me, so I wanna pull that out from Charlotte Tilbury, one of the Beauty Light wands. Um, haven't we used in a while? Let's pull this highlighter out for Rimmel. I've only used it a couple of times, and then that gives us a cream and a powder highlight. And then for bronzer, let's pull this bronzer out from LYS. Get some use out of that. And then for a cream bronzer, I actually don't have that many. Let's see. I think I just recently had this one from Tarte in here, but I sure do love it. But I feel like this one from Fenty is a little bit older. So let's pull that one out, get some use out of it. And then for powders, let's see. Oh, I'm going to pull this one out from Tarte. It's like a shimmery finishing powder, Shape Tape Glow Powder. I wonder if I could use that, the same as that Jouer one a little bit. So let's pull that one out because I've hardly used it, honestly. And then let's also pull out the pressed powder from LYS because I haven't got a ton of use out of that one either. Okay, and then for, I really need to use that. And they did also send me one of their brow pens, so I probably need to try to use that. Backup mascaras. Mostly what's in here is backup stuff, honestly. I don't think I'm gonna pull out any brow stuff. 
And I don't have a ton of, like these are both in champagne and I prefer the Oyster Pearl. So no point in pulling those out. I did recently, a girlfriend gave me this Kosas. I think it's like the 10 second eye. I've used it once, it was okay. Like I don't remember loving it or not loving it. So let's pull that out. Um, got these from Revlon, but I don't really think I wanna pull either of those out. Yeah, I think I'm probably good. Oh, I was gonna try to use that. Well, maybe next, maybe next month. Okay, I think that's probably good. Honestly, I've just been using those same products over and over again anyway, so this stuff back. Oh, I forgot to mention, up here is all my open mascaras, and then I did have this Natasha Denona palette out. Yeah, you know, I used it once in the month, and I didn't love it, to be honest. But I'll keep it out because it doesn't make sense to go find the box where everything's packed away to put that in. So I'll keep that out as well for now. Okay, let's organize this here. Okay, well, <laughs> again, <laughs> these are always kind of left out. They're sort of a funny little shape to fit in there, but you can see I've got everything else kind of in there. So not bad, I'm excited. There's some stuff I'm really excited to use, and there's some stuff in here that's very, very new to me. So put that back, those couple of things there, and there we go. So there you go, you guys. There's the products that I'm gonna focus on using over the next month. I do do these monthly. That seems to be a good amount of time for me where I'm still excited to be using products and, and not getting sick or bored of stuff. So once a month seems to be working for me. So these are the products I'm gonna focus on over the next month. If you are enjoying this series, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.